Good morning and welcome back to another video and happy Labor Day. This morning we're in southeastern Pennsylvania at the Southern Harleysville Game Fish and Forestry Association, a place I've been many times, actually since the 90s. So this morning we're actually beginning to be doing something a little bit different, bass fishing. So bass fishing for me is new. It's a brand new concept. Um, in a lot of ways it is just like any other fishing uh, in terms of bass fishing versus trout fishing but it also is wildly different uh, and I know that just from my experience of going and fishing many hours without catching anything so I have with me my eight weight fly rod now this is the Orvis Clearwater uh, this has been a an absolute uh, wonderful fly rod uh, to fish with uh, for bass like as the eight weight um, before I used just my five weight with a six weight line so you don't really need to have the proper weight but it makes it a lot easier uh, since having picked this up about uh, three weeks ago it's made a world of difference with being able to flow, uh, throw some of those larger top water flies those, those um, even stuff that goes beneath the surface, uh, something like a five weight or a six weight, you can do it. It's not impossible, but it just makes it a lot harder. Uh, and of course I have uh, a good slew of bass flies that I'll show you guys in a moment. So we're going to get out there and start to fish. Uh, right now it is 7.09 in the morning, about 64 degrees. It did rain overnight uh, and even a little bit this morning. And as you can probably see, we're still experiencing some issues with Hurricane Ida. The dock, which I've gone to many times before and had a lot of great luck off of, is in disrepair. Uh, so that's something that needs to get fixed. But of course, I can't go on it right now. Um, I will fish the banks. I've, I've fished these waters before. Um, I've had luck, uh, especially with bass. Uh, mainly in the evening, so I'm gonna try the morning uh, right now, and I do also hope to come back this evening to actually um, Have that same luck so mainly going after largemouth bass, uh, but we'll see what we can actually catch this morning All right, let's get out there. All right, so we are geared up. I Can see something swimming over there. I have absolutely no idea what that is probably a turtle um, But yeah Besides getting absolutely ravished by mosquitoes, I went ahead and got us set up. So here is my fly box. Of course, I've got a lot of top water stuff here, stuff that goes beneath the water. Um, this one in the past has been amazingly successful, a crayfish pattern. I'll try that one out as well. I'm gonna close the door without crushing some of these legs. Swipe away a mosquito. So what I tied on this morning is a bogle bug. So, a little popper action. We'll see how this, uh, this fares for us. Wow, these mosquitoes are absolutely the worst right now. They're probably the worst I've ever had it um, up here or in just in general <laughs> this year. I had to stop and put on some, uh, put on some uh, bug spray. It was just nuts. I'd literally be up here just swatting mosquitoes instead of fishing. Look, there's one flying right ahead of me. Oh man, that was crazy. All right. So I am not even paying attention to the bug that I just flew on the water. I'm paying, paying more attention to these darn mosquitoes. Of course, unlike trout fishing you know, with bass, you know, the, the fly selection doesn't matter nearly as much. Uh, 
you know, of course you want to try to mimic what is out there, but you know, something like this, it's like you can just try a bunch of different things. One, one bass might go for it, whereas another just might not. And, uh, you know, something like this, you know, a popper action. I've heard you, once you let the popper hit the, hit the water surface, then you start going. And you mimic what's basically, I don't know, a frog. And you, you give a few quick, uh, few quick pops. Let it sit just for a second. So if this doesn't work, we'll switch maybe to a, a lighter color. Oh, something jumped at it, probably a sunny. Something not big enough for it to get into its mouth. Oh, there we go, there's one. Oh, that's a fighter. It wasn't a huge take though, so I am actually curious to see what the heck this is. Giving up a pretty decent fight though. Come on. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's sunny, maybe a bass, I don't know. What the heck? Try my best to get as close as possible. That is a sunny and that was giving up a pretty darn good fight. All right, actually I won't even use my net. I can just bring him out. Getting all sorts of tangled up here. Oh, that's a big guy too. Yeah, that's a big guy, okay. Yeah, he was big enough to take it. Yeah, pretty. Same family as the bass. Back in you go, bud. Yeah, same family as the bass. That's one thing I have learned. Yeah, they act, act pretty much darn near the same. I'm gonna throw that out there for a second. All right, I had, a, had to swap out my battery, but <clears throat> we're gonna go with fluorescent. Well, kind of like a neon, neon yellow, something with a flat face, but hopefully something that will cause the water to pop a little bit more. This is the one that I've had also a lot of luck with, but hopefully we can have a luck this morning. Not just sunnies too. All right, so we are back at it with the top water bogle bug. I switched out of the sinking tip. Uh, this wasn't working. There was no activity between here, between in the in the larger lake. Just nothing going on. So, you know, when you look at the formula of catching fish, there's something that's off. Either the time of day, what I'm using. Uh, hmm. Time of day, what I'm using, uh, ambient temperature, probably water temperature as well. Um, maybe the fact that the hurricane came through just messed things up. I mean, I've had such luck before. Um, oh no. I've had such luck here before, and it's just one of those things where you have to look at all the different 
come on. All the, all the different things that go into it, you kind of say, okay, well, if we're not catching fish, you know, what may be some of the reasons? You'll have to forgive me as I get this thing untangled. All right, so we're back. It's 621, about 75 degrees. The heat of the day, it just really wasn't working. After catching those two sunnies, there, there wasn't anything else I was catching. I tried on the sinking tip, I tried beneath the surface, on the surface, and absolutely nothing is working. But what is working right now, as you can probably see, and I'll get it, I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit later, is the top water. Top water flies, the, the boogle bugs. So I was able to actually catch two of them. Again, I wasn't, you know, mounted up with my camera. I, I wanted to at least see if it was worth it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get kitted up and uh, hopefully we'll catch a few more. I think the sun is about to go down in about an hour, but I did bring a headlamp. All right, so we switched things up to the other Google bug. This one, a little bit more fluorescent. Got some damage to it, but that's all right. Oh, something took it. Probably a sunny the way it's feeling. Did not feel like a very strong take at all. Give it a good fight though. Yeah, Chris is going airborne. Yeah, all right, buddy. Yeah, of course. A big boy nonetheless. All right, I'm gonna throw you back. Yeah. Go get your, whoa there, buddy. Come on, go get your big brother. All right, well the fish are taking off the water surface. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was a nice take. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yep. Big boys do like to feed at night. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Bring him in. Bring him in. All right. There we go. All right. Look at that beautiful bass. Look at that sucker. All right, I'll, I'll show you what he struck on. All right, he struck on this guy. Oh, okay, where are you hooked? To? I ain't gotta. Yep, struck on this guy. All right, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of him. He's gorgeous. All right, back in the water you go. All right. I'll show you. I'll show you once again what he what he took just gotta fix my fix my pocket all right he took this guy streaming across <laughs> it's all it's all mangled streaming across the water it's got a real real bushy tail and he just went up and annihilated that thing all right let's see if we can keep keep doing that now that uh now that the sun's kind of going down that's what i heard big boys like to feed at night That was a good take too. That was an excellent take. All 
That was close too. Really close to the to the shoreline. This thing's getting all jacked up. Most of its tail is hanging out, hooked on the hook. All right. Of course, the barb is making it a little bit difficult to remove. There we go. There we go. Look at that. I mean, if you were a bass, you'd probably go after that, right? I would. Especially at night like this. All right, that's it. So morning fly fishing for bass, evening fly fishing for bass, and night fly fishing for bass. So in the morning, got a couple sunnies, sunfish. I was happy to catch something, but I expected a little bit more morning activity. Uh, I tried darn near everything and absolutely nothing. By the time nine, 10 o'clock rolled around, the heat of the day was picking up and I knew I wasn't gonna have any luck. Um, in the evening, I did expect more. I wish I had my GoPro on when I did catch the first two, um, but I think I was affected by how I was fishing in the morning as well. I really didn't expect to actually catch anything, but I was happy to get something. And then in the late evening, right before the sun went down, I got that big one. Um, really happy. Now, as far as night fly fishing, this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, you know, especially for, for either bass or trout. Uh, I've heard from multiple sources that the nighttime is when the big ones like to feed. Um, I'm not sure if I was doing something wrong or maybe I should be fishing later at night or maybe in the wee hours of the morning. I'm gonna do more research. Um, I will say uh, having something on my head is good, but the bugs just go right for my face and it just drove me absolutely insane. Um, having a, an extra light or a lantern definitely would help. Um, one thing I've noticed that, that you know, at least from, from doing it, it's all muscle memory. Um, you're going on feel of the line to know when your line behind you has fully unfurled. Um, you're kind of feeling for that tension and you're kind of gauging the best that you can to where, where you want to cast it. Uh, only one time that I cast it a little bit too far into some reeds, but I was luckily able to pull the fly out and not lose a fly. So the fact that I didn't lose anything, the fact that I didn't hook myself, and the fact that I didn't fall in, uh, I'll kind of I'll put that as a success. Um, I would bet that if the fishing were better today during the day, uh, in the morning, and the e and actually in the evening as well. I bet that the nighttime activity may have been better. Um, but again, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and look into it. So again, I'm not the greatest fly fisherman for bass. I'm learning. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, either for future videos or for things that I can look into, or if you see something that I'm doing that just is absolutely wrong or something I should stop doing, uh, or do differently, please comment below. Uh, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to pass on some knowledge as well. And so hopefully next time I can get out there, I can actually catch, catch some more fish. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe so you can always keep up to date with all the crazy videos that I'm coming out with. Thank you.